Who? Who? Well, hello and welcome everybody. Randy Replay. Be ah. Ah. <sighs> At it again. Um, it's week 14 here in the NFL. As we take a look at the playoff picture. Not a lot of movement. Um, at all, really. The Colts, Chargers, the Bengals are still 7C, the Broncos, number one, of course, the Bucks, number one, the Vikings, number two, Atlanta, number five, Los Angeles, number three, and then the Aints picking up the, uh, the slack there at the end of the at the train, the caboose, if you will. Um, so if the playoffs were to start today, it would be the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Aints in the um wild card round. Winner of that game would go on to face the Bucks, who both of those two teams lost to this season. And then the winners of the Rams and the Seahawks, and for the moment, the Commanders and Falcons would uh follow that on wild card weekend, but we uh we have some time before we get there. We still have five more regular season games in four Minnesota. Four of those five are at home. We only have one that are away for Kansas City, so it is crunch time here. Time to put the division in your grasp. Um, if we take a look at the standings here in the NFL, we can see that really no team has clinched a division yet. There's still a little bit of time to do so. Although if we take a look at the AFC East, I do believe the uh, um, West, I mean. <laughs> I do believe, oh wow, it's actually closer than we thought. Only two games separate. So that thing's going to come down to week 15. And the whole division other than the Raiders, who the Vikings just beat, are on a one-game win streak. And in the NFC North, Minnesota on a four-game win streak. Um, <coughs> four games over the Packers. Got to believe that uh, one or two more wins will lock up this division. I do believe if the Packers lose and the Vikings win today, you can kind of wrap it up. Um, but they have the game against the Chiefs next week, so that might play into as well. NFC South, the Bucks are in number one place, and the Falcons are just a game behind. Both of those teams. On a winning streak as well. The Aints under one. And the Panthers. Well. They're on a two game losing streak. And then in the AFC. I do believe it is the AFC. East. There we go. The Bills. <clears throat> Six games back. On a three games slide. After their third win on the season. So. That is how this will shape up here in week 14. And we will see what shakes loose in our game. Thursday night football kicking off the week. And uh, see, do what we always do. Check out the injury reports. Zazaza Zadarius still nursing that torn labrum. Three weeks for him. Jaqueline Roy, two weeks for him with that dislocated hip. So... Um, the biggest concern about this game is the health and safety of Anthony Richardson. He did go down with a shoulder injury last week. Um, so don't expect to see... Oh, okay. Don't expect to see um, too many throws here. It, it was his left shoulder, so it wasn't his throwing shoulder, but still, um, injury is still an, uh, a big question there. So maybe we'll see Malik Willis go today. Who knows? Uh, for the Steelers, it, it was going to be hashtag must be nice, but George Pickens appeared late on the injury report, and uh, he's on IR. Apparently, we had some technical difficulties. Um, Anthony Richardson did practice this week, says he feels fine if his team needs him to go. Um, and then in other news, the Minnesota Vikings have re-signed Daniil Hunter after back and forth for about what seemed to be a month, they finally came to terms. 
Three years, $63 million. He is second in the NFL in sacks this season, having a career high of 18. I do believe the record is 23. And players are just about ready to take the field here. Thursday night football action coming at you. You got the uh, Steelers and the Vikings. Steelers looking to play spoiler a little bit. They they need their fourth one on the season. Minnesota could lock up the division as early as week 15 if they beat the Chiefs and the Packers lose today. Oof, it is that time of year. Playoffs just around the corner. Five games left. Four of them out of the five at home. You have to hit on at least three of these. And if the Bucks lose and you win, guess what? You've locked up number one seed for the Minnesota Vikings. Go get it. Kickoff is next. Well, hello and welcome. Thursday night football being brought to you by Monsoon Air as always. Minnesota Vikings, Pittsburgh Steelers. A couple teams that have been involved in many of Chipotle bets. For Randy replay. Old Glory flies and we check out Joey Sly. He's down on the field kicking field goals on the opposite end. Moments ago, teams were introduced. We'll give you that footage as we always do. And the color rush jerseys are out. They look pretty good in those, if I do say so myself. For Minnesota, it's it's a reoccurring theme with Anthony Richardson. The turnovers, the turnovers, the turnovers, the turnovers. Points off turnovers. We have to eliminate them here today. JJ, we don't have any worries about. Dalvin Cook's got to be the focal point today. And uh, this past defense has allowed 3,592 yards for the gosh darn Steelers. Almost as much as... Anthony Richardson has thrown this year. We'll just put that into perspective. Both teams are ready. As so are we. Joey Sly pats the ball. Steelers have won the toss and have elected to receive. As they will get hyped up and fan out. Minnesota looking to go to 10-3 and three on the season. And have good playoff seeding. As they are now playing for the number one seed. This season. Ball's on the tee. Left hand to Joey Sly's in the sky. He's about to kick it into the night sky doors are open tonight as we are underway here week 14 in the nfl kicking off with this one we got big games all across the board playoff implications but tonight we focus on this one kenny pickett about to come out here on this one we'll take a look at his stats just under 1500 yards six touchdowns seven picks i wonder if he kind of started late we don't follow the steelers um so there is a question of maybe he did start a little bit later this season. Always interesting to talk about and uh, research. I don't know if we have the time for that, though. Then he'll start off this game in the pistol. And he's looking over his options. Look right. Throws right. Wide open player. And that will be a gain of 11. So my goodness. Wide open. Jacoby Myers right side. Having some tackle problems. Jacoby Myers gets a first down for his team. Those Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's... Oh, wow. <laughs> so Gibbs will throw off... Jordan Hicks like he's nothing. So the rookie, Jameer Gibbs. No, uh, no Najee Harris anymore here. Here, of course, went to Buffalo. Big game against the other team that we follow this week against the Steelers. Um, that game is coming to you on Sunday. So we'll be, Randy will be watching that from the couch as will the rest of America. Short throw left side, hit out of bounds, no flag. It was, looks like to be a little egregious, but they're gonna let these two teams play here today. Good to have DJ Wanham back. Pickett will tap his right buttock. He'll throw off to the right. And a floater over Eli Ricks, but it's caught out of bounds incomplete. And that will force a Harvin, not to be confused with Percy, punt. Harvin the third boots it away. Kenne Wong Wu. Oh, kind of stumbles after the juke. 
So we'll get up to the 17. I'm surprised Simi wasn't out there. Um, regardless, here comes Anthony Richardson. His totals for the year, 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns, 37 PX. So, oh boy. Um, I mean, what do you, what do you say? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's had a good year, but uh, it could be better, but he is a rookie. So he starts off this game in the shotgun. It is a gift to Dalvin. Excuse me. Gain of five. 115 yards last week. Two touches. 18.05 on the year. And that is how the Vikings will start this game. Very, very important that you run it away from uh, TJ Watt. Very, very important. He will disrupt just about everything you're trying to do offensively. There's another Dalvin run this time. and Not as lucrative as he'll be brought down. A jack right at the line to gain, so Minnesota's coming out here again. Another third down this year. Richardson, play broke down, he'll slide, and he'll get the first down run of eight. So, Anthony Richardson using his legs here in the first quarter. 12.39 left to go. I do believe the read was to Thielen. He had his helmet turned that way, and then he tucked the ball under. Just slid. He was hit as he's sliding. We're going to take another look at it. Mm. Yeah, he was taken off the slide. That is the third time that has happened this season. Adam Thielen congratulating his rookie quarterback. As uh, we get another look at another drive. Richardson. Play action. He's going to throw it away. Nothing happening. And uh, Steelers defense, not to be overlooked. Definitely not to be overlooked. Tyler Johnson will be sent man in motion right side. Richardson gets the snap. Throws middle. Caught Laporta. He will carry a defender. No, not enough for the first down. But it's uh, third and one. And when you got Dalvin Cook in the backfield, you have a shot. Fake snap, tries again with the jump, not going to work. Dalvin will get the first down forward progress. And there you have it. So, Dalvin Cook. There's the aforementioned TJ Watt in on the stop. Love to have him here. Don't count him out. <laughs> you never know what could happen in the NFL. You never thought TJ, Haw uh, TJ Hawkinson would be here, but here we are. He's gone now, but he was here. <laughs> so a quick little throw to the right caught Thielen. Little four-yard gainer. So they got Sam Laporta. They're in the tight end spot. Dalvin trying to get skinny. He does. He's not going to get the first, but he'll get five. That'll give him a good shot here at uh, getting a first down. So the big package out there, three tight ends off to the right. Is it give Dalvin? Dalvin on the other side of the 50 now and a first down. So Dalvin Cook getting going here in this one. Having a heck of a game so far. Responsible for a couple of these first downs. Richardson gets the snap. Throw left. Had to come back for it. C.J. Hammy gets chopped down after a two-yard gain. Um, that will serve a purpose. It's kind of an awkward play there. The second and eight now. Richardson from the gun gets the snap. Short throw, middle caught. Thielen, Thielen, room to run down to the, about the twenty. They're gonna. Oh, okay. Mark him down at the twenty-six. Uh, twenty-five rather, not the twenty, not the twenty. <laughs> but a quick hitter to Thielen. Double teamed was JJ. Feeling able to get open. How many times have we said that this season? Oh, Nelly. Richardson from the gun gets the snap. Looks over his options, throws it away. Just as he was about ready to get hit. So. 
Nothing going on there. Try it again. I formation gets the snap again. He'll run. So. Big loss. It's a sack. I'll bring up third and 20. Third and 20 now. Richardson from the gun gets the snap. Throws JJ intercepted off the hands of JJ. So off the hands of Justin Jefferson, it will be picked by Minka Fitzpatrick. Oh boy. Came down in the right gap and we now hold him to a three point opportunity. Snap, spot, kick. It's good. So three nothing Steelers early. Here we go again. Another play action. Wide open man, it's caught. Colin Johnson will take it up to the 37. So a guy that really doesn't get any playing time really because Sam Laporta, the resurgence of Laporta. These fans are loud. You love to see it. We'll take another look at it. Had to readjust, but he had him wide open. Colin Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. The 22, they'll go no huddle. They will go no huddle. Richardson now. Under center gets the snap. Throws, caught Laporta, touchdown Vikings! Sam Laporta, wiping the sweat off his brow. My goodness. Clean pocket over a defender right in between a couple Steelers. Braces for the hit, rides the defender over the line. So just contorting his body to get into the end zone in Minnesota. Pending the kick will take a 7-3 lead. Snap spot. Kick is away. It's good. So what a week. Minnesota gets a good win down there in Las Vegas town. They get a nail biter win against the Panthers and they are up. Just north of the two minutes left to go here in the first. So my goodness. Kick will sail into the end zone and touch uh, touch down rather. My goodness. So pick it from the gun again, gets the snap. Looks, throws deep left side. Caught down by Claypool down at the six. Danzler all over him. I don't know how you play it any better. So Danzler running with him. Pick it from his back foot. I don't know how you... How you get that off, but I mean, I don't know how Danzler plays many tighter without being flagged. That's just good play by Claypool. So here come the Steelers. Kendrick's not fooled. Tackled in the backfield. Sheesh indeed. So uh, that was a catch. We we see a couple of those here. Come through four. Opposing teams. It's a setup screen. He'll be in the end zone. Does Gibbs. So Jameer Gibbs with his second. <coughs> big play of the day. And uh, this will give the Steelers back the lead. This to make it 10-7. And no block attempt. And 10-7 it is. So. Eight play, 75 yard drives capped off by a Jameer Gibbs touchdown. Can't be playing from behind at home. It's not a good thing. So this, this is not good. We got to get a stop. Man in motion left to right. Pick it. Throws across the middle. Eric Hendricks right in his grill. Got to believe that affected the throw. And we'll do it again. So Minnesota. The Steelers in the I formation, and that will be... Was that Renault Wren? Renault Wren on the tackle. His first tackle in purple. He was thrown out there for that play. Renault Wren gets his first. My heavens. So right on you, Renault. Heck yeah, he's out there again for this one. Oh my gosh, it won't matter because Gibbs 
just scored his second touchdown of the day. This one on the ground. So Reynolds Wren just picked the wrong gap. Kendricks was there as well, but just such a good offensive line. There's Fryermuth as well. And, oh my gosh, Metellus was just late. So this to make it 17-7, down 10 here. Snap spot, kick is away, and he's good. But he's looking around like, who's going to cover me? <laughs> you? No, thank you. Richardson, another play action. He'll roll, throws, caught Thielen. Right side, good enough for a first down. Kevin O'Connell likes what he sees. And in traffic, Thielen's so good. Had a guy almost right on him. It looked, it looked, looked a little bit worse on the, uh, the live call there, I, I promise. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, Pittsburgh is going to challenge. So they are challenging the spot of the ball. Or maybe, oh no, they're challenging. Receiver had possession, one, two. I mean, I don't know what, what's here. He had possession, two feet down, one, two, and uh oh, try and figure it out. Thielen talking to Tyler, see what happens. Pending the call from the ref. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see it. If we had a had to guess, I would imagine the the feet, but he had two, so Steelers will lose a timeout. Richardson talking to the offensive line. Dalvin Cook behind him, single back formation. He will get the ball and tries to contort around Jones, but he won't. Gain of one though. Minnesota. Changing a few things is Richardson. He will get the snap out of the gun. Thinks he's got a man! Touchdown! My heavens! Reaches on the way down. What's he doing? He is strutting his stuff towards <laughs> the tunnel. So Richardson from the 50 back foot, he pulls the Kenny Pickett and he throws this all the way into the end zone. 50 yards through the air, it will be reviewed. Uh, he stretched the ball over the line as he's going down, did Thielen. And as it sits, it is a touchdown. It's to make it a three-point game. It's all you need. Joey slides. Oh, it almost goes out. Who almost doinks. And uh, we now have a 17-14 game. And get a first down, then get a touchdown. Rock them, sock them, beat those Packers. Wait, Steelers. <laughs> Joey Slice kick is away. This will be a touchback. And there you go. So, now what do you do? Five minutes. Two seconds. Got to get the ball back. You'd like to, at least. DJ want him out there for... And left side and uh, Neil Hunter ah, for the moment will tie the league leading. <coughs> Excuse me. Chase Young and he just kind of rolls over his ankle. So and one. Minnesota. Pretty good on third down this season. Defensively, and my goodness, as soon as I say that. Spins away from a tackle, Murphy bunting, and Lewis Seen will bring him down finally near the 15. Up to the 11. My goodness. Oh, boy. So. Can we get rid of the stack there, left side? Can he pick it? Set up screen. Murphy bunting and host of other Vikings will bring him down. Now the wrap up tackles for Minnesota not really working here. Hence why you see these big hits coming out. Kenny Pickett from the gun, gets the snap, looks left, throws right, set up screen. And the blockers don't do much. That will be DJ Wanham. Bringing him down in third and two now. So third and two. Pickett, throws, batted away, Cam Danzler. Left side. 
Touchdown denied. They're going to go for it. Why the hell not? From the three. So from the three, big third down play, Minnesota. Coming on their 3-4 base. Pinkett from the gun gets the snap. Looks left. Throws left. Wide open. How? Wide open, Deontay Johnson. Oh, boy. And that was Harrison Smith's bad. It's his zone. And that'll give up 10 point lead again, pending the kick, which is good. 24 14. So, Minnesota, 57 seconds left to go. You get a score, even if it's just a field goal. Get a little bit of momentum. Boswell. And here comes Wang Wu. Ooh, numbers caught up to him pretty quick. 53 seconds left. Here comes Richardson and company. So, Anthony. It's the snap. Looks. Throws. Caught. Feeling. They got to take a timeout, and they will. So a first down. Richardson's so good at leaving the pocket. Love to get his feet set there, but he makes the strike nonetheless. So now what do you do if you're Minnesota? Let's find out. From the gun. Gets the snap. Pump fakes. Throws, and it's picked. Called it in the air. The fourth interception of the day. And the booze will rain down. De deservedly so. Richardson he Richardson's head just isn't in it right now. Vikings will play off defense. Pick it from the gun. It's the snap. Throws left side. Caught. My heavens. Oh. He froze. Myers froze. <laughs> and the booth, uh, the booth, re 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 booth. The previous play is under review. Yeah, what he said. So there you go. Take a look at it. One hander. I don't think that back foot was down. Maybe it's hard to tell. Well, we'll get the call there. They, they're the experts after all. Um, yeah, freeze tag for sure. <laughs> so the call on the field, pending the. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So ruling on the field stands, and here we go. Bunch formation for the Steelers' right side. Pick it from the gun. Gets the snap. Looks right. Throws right. Caught. Fryer move. Pushed out of bounds by Murphy Bunting. So, Pickett's pass, complete to Fryermuth, gain of six. Do it again. Pickett, throws right, caught. Almost enough for the first. And Minnesota, we will try it again here. Pickett throws immediately to the left. Fryermuth down to the 12. Tomlinson will take a timeout. 20 seconds left to go here in the first half. The Minnesota. Now deploying their nickel defense. They get from the gun. Gets the snap. Set up screen. Jordan Hicks. Take him down. Tomlinson immediately calls a timeout. That'll be just north. North of 15 seconds. Kenny Pickett from the gun again. He's been in here all all night. And Pickett throws. Wide open guy. And again. It's Claypool. And again, Harrison Smith was out of the... Not in the right area. He came back for it. Almost. I don't know how you play that any better without being directly on him, but just miscommunication on defense here. Claypool will score his second. And uh, 
We're about to be up 31-14. This thing getting out of hand here. Snap spot kick. It's all good. So just 10 seconds now. Kevin O'Connell kind of looking towards the sky. Kicked by Boswell. Wang Wu lets it bounce. So Minnesota, 10 seconds left. I mean, not a whole lot you could do here. Richardson bunch formation. Look at all the look at all the members of the Steelers to the right side. Tries to get him to go. Not going to work. It's the snap. Rolls throws it away. So Minnesota trying to play this thing. So see what they can do here. They're trying to play this thing out, which you love the aggressiveness, but you can't do much. Five ticks left to go. It's the snap. He's got a man. It's JJ. Don't. Oh my goodness. JJ. Number 20. Gritty time at US Bank and the Vikings are back in it. Don't call it a comeback right before the half. Oh my heavens. Richardson, JJ, how many times? So right here, Steelers, I thought he tripped him up. He did not. He just fell on his own. And Justin Jefferson scores his 20th. Now three gritties away from the record. What a way to stop, or what a way to end, rather. The first half is Joey Sly's kick is perfect. We're now just down by 10. We get the ball after the break. My heavens. So Tomlinson has a lot to cheer about. His team is dominating here today, despite the score being only 10 points. So I'd like to say we could look around the league, but um, yeah, I mean, this is the first game of the week. So your slate of games, you got the Bills at Falcons. That'll be a good one, or it should be at least. You got the Battle for Florida, Jaguars and Dolphins, and you got the Bears at the Lions. Randy Replay's highlighted game. It's very important. As you want to get some separation here in the division. That's including the Packers and Bengals game Sunday night. And then you want to see what the Chiefs do. You play them next week. So that is my other game that I circle. Because you'll want to see what they do on the road. And then Randy Replay likes the Broncos. They're Monday night against the Browns. Woo! And hello and welcome back to the booth. Randy Replay. Kind of fired up after the end of that first half. My goodness. <clears throat> Minnesota getting a touchdown and JJ's 20th gritty on the season. He can't stop. Won't stop. Eerie, eerie. Yeah. So Anthony Richardson will end the first half with a QB rating of 82.9. He was 19 of 31. The pitch count kind of thrown, <laughs> no pun intended, out the window it looks like. 276 yards, three touchdowns, but he's got four picks. Oh, boy. Dalvin Cook, 15 carries, 60 yards. On pace for 30 on this one. Anthony Richardson, two rushes for negative two. And I'm feeling one for nine. Also leads the team in yardage despite JJ's big completion there. Adam Thielen, six for 109 and a touchdown. Sam Laporta, three for 37 and a touch. And JJ, three for 91 and a touchdown. My goodness. And uh, Falcons owner is going for the Steelers. Wow. Okay. It makes sense, though. <laughs> and then, of course, you got Scotty Miller, one for seven. He only catches first down balls, except for that one he dropped today. <laughs> Nobody cares about blocking good and good to defense. Look at total tackles, and it's Eric Kendricks, no surprise. Number one with nine. Murphy Bunting, Harrison Smith, Jordan Hicks with six. Hey, that rhymed. Um, tackles for loss, we had three by James Lynch. Good to see you. Renel Wren getting his first a uh, little bit of playing time here in purple. Go Titans. Yeah. <laughs> the good old JL, James Lynch. Kind of love it. Uh, Renel Wren, first tackle in purple is a tackle for a loss. You love to see it. Uh, and then Jordan Hicks got one as well. QB sacks. We only had, oh, Daniil Hunters didn't count. I highly doubt that. 
Daniil Hunter got one. It's not showing up on the stat sheet, though. Um, Daniil Hunter had a sack. Maybe it was an incomplete pass and we just missed it. Very possible. One pass deflection by Cam Danzler. No forced fumbles, no fumble recoveries, no safeties, no touchdowns. First half Vikings. Uh, Joey Sly. Easy day. Three for three on extra points. Hunter, nice wonder. One punt, 50 yards, netting 40. I do believe that's the only time we've seen one punt in a half by any Vikings punter. Hunter, nice wonder included. And then kick return four for Wong Wu, 99 yards, longest of 28. So <clears throat> we'll see what the Vikings want to do. Just keep playing your game. Um, you're down 10, but it could be worse. So, yeah, just, just keep doing what you're doing. Anthony Richardson has surpassed 40 touchdowns on the year. He also has more. And 40 picks. This has been Randy Replay. I will see you in just a minute. Noise. <clears throat> Why isn't he returning punts, dude? Can't. Gotta do it after the game. All right, three, two, one. And hello and welcome back. Boswell, ready to kick this in. Kabooey. Wang Wu checks the coverage and he will let it bounce. So, Richardson and company tonight, 276, three touchdowns, but four picks. So, not the best of nights. He's having a good night, but those four picks looming right now. They got a lot of work to do here in this one. And they get a good start with Dalvin. Maybe a face mask. Probably got away with a face mask. We will utilize the Randy Replay SSN drone. Kind of take a peek at this thing. Here's Dalvin. Uh, just underneath. Maybe. Maybe caught it towards the end. Uh, maybe. Oh, it's hard to tell. He did twist his head with it. Hard to tell if it's a flop job or. I mean, his head was twisted around. Um, hard to tell. We're going to say just for the sake that it's a missed call. Boo refs. Boo refs. <laughs> so from the seven or after the gain of seven. Dalvin Cook gets another one. Forces his way. He'll only get a yard. And it could have been another. Could have been another face mask there. He gets two, rather. Dalvin cutting through the line. He'll get the first down. So three straight run plays to start the second half. For Minnesota. <laughs> so we'll see what they want to do here now. Still under center. They got Dalvin Cook in the backfield. It's another play action. Rolling. Just going to throw it away. Is Richardson. So a lot of these design rollout plays are so dependent on the guys down the field getting open. And if you don't have that, it's very, very hard to uh, gain any yards here. Dalvin going in between defenders. He'll get five, making third and five a little bit easier. For Minnesota. So here we go. Richardson from the gun gets the snap. Um, fakes once, throws middle, caught Thielen, cuts up the field, and he will get the first down across the 50. And he will be marked down right at the 50, rather, so. He is down at the 50. Just to let y'all know. <laughs> so, 31 21, 13 minutes left to play here in the third quarter. Dalvin, down to the 47. He's got 80 now on the night. TJ Watt trying to run away from him, but it's so hard. He's he's everywhere tonight. Richardson. It's the snap. He's going to run for the first down. So Richardson play broke down. I believe it was designed to go to the right to Thielen, if I'm not mistaken. That really just broke down on the right side real quick. 
as you can see. And then Richardson saw Lane at a blocker. Jefferson didn't really do it. Uh, he didn't know he was going to run it, though. So there's the there's the fire coming out of Richardson we all know and love. <laughs> so here we go, Minnesota. Chewing up the field, and more importantly, chewing up the clock. CJ Ham will motion into the near formation. It's another give to Dalvin, who, whoa, carries a big hit. It's three. So here we go. Richardson, man in motion is JJ. It's another pesky end around. Tries to gain the edge. He will not. Forward progress. We get about five. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take that. We'll take that. So five yard gainer. We'll see what they want to do here. Menace Norda. Quick throw. Caught. JJ left side. I almost said Richardson. Yeah, Richardson's a wide receiver, Randy. Good, good call. <laughs> so a quick hitter. When he's not going over top, you gotta watch him underneath. It's not a Oh boy. So Dalvin only gets a yard. It's 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 just so hard to defend against uh, uh, JJ. It really is. I've talked to many of coaches that, and we've seen it this season when you try and scheme for it. Sometimes it just doesn't work as Dalvin will carry or get carried by a defender up and how quickly another third down for this Vikings team. Third and four from the 20. Just inside the monsoon air red zone here. Richardson tries to get him to jump. Not going to work. Sends Sam Laporta out slot right. What is he doing? Richardson gets the snap. He's got a man. It's wide open. JJ, another gritty. Second of the night for JJ. Three from the record. Actually, two. He's got 21. He needs 23. Two more to break the record. And Justin Jefferson Wowzers. Put somebody else on that man. That's the second time he's burned his guy. You just got mossed. <laughs> Trying to take down Randy Moss's single season touchdown receptions record. He's got a pretty good head start on it. And Minnesota now down just three. So five games left after this one. He needs two. His career high of touchdowns just came a couple weeks ago. He's got four in that one. So I got a pretty good feeling that we'll see the record being broke. And I do believe we'll see the franchise Vikings record of touchdowns by a rookie quarterback getting broken as well. That's Anthony Richardson's 41st. Now it's my turn to stop talking about the touchdown because the defense goes to work now and Kenny Pickett will be under center. He's got trios to his left. The big boys coming out to play is... <coughs> Excuse me. Gibbs will be brought down after a three-yard run. They drop James Lynch in coverage. Murphy bunting. I don't know how you play that any better. Third and one. Throws off to the right complete. Vikings showing blitz. They'll play press. They send the pressure. And wide open. Wide open is Fryer Meath. And he stays on his feet. Pushed out finally by Murphy bunting. Had to come across all the way across the field. And Fryer Muth. My goodness. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think he could do that. Finally gets pushed out. That's, uh, it's quite the move by Friar Moves. <laughs> Can he pick it from the gun either way? It's another run. DJ Wanham and Harrison Phillips. Lewis Seen will team up to bring him down. And Gibbs will just get back to the line of scrimmage. No harm, no foul. Brian Osmoa. Or Asamoa, however you want to say it. Gets dropped and Daniil Hunter was foaming at the mouth after that one. Almost had his second, well, technically his first, but I swear he has another one. Anyway, Pickett 
throws caught probably just going to try and hold him to three as Kendricks will try and jar the ball loose not going to work and they go for a three-point opportunity field goal attempt by Bozzi snap spot no oh, almost blocked it's good so a six-point game now almost blocked by Eli Ricks had one in the preseason Joey Sly here to make it a three-point game really got to think about going for it here and that's what Kevin O'Connell was doing Minnesota trying to see if they'll jump they won't and Joey Sly's kick is good his first of the game field goal and onside kick right <laughs> so Joey Sly had an easy night until now weird kind of animation there wait what breaking the fourth wall is Randy replay pick it from the gun gets the snap and Daniel Hunter no doubt about it now you gotta give him one you can't see me number 19 on the year we believe it's 20 but they didn't give him credit for the one in the first half but uh Kenny Pickett he's been destroying that right tackle like we mentioned earlier in the drive and we got a big uh, third in 17 now. Minnesota just deploying a zone blitz there. So very important not to give him much yardage here. Keep him out of field goal range. As big throw. Murphy bunting in the end zone. That is what the kids would call a user. Murphy bunting asking the fans to get up and get going and they will so again another throw from the 50 but this time Minnesota plays it perfectly tiptoe in the windows for the pick that's Murphy bunting <laughs> Richardson under center he's got that bunch formation we run it from the single back set more times than anybody in the NFL little known fact Richardson looks around waits gets the snap gives it to Dalvin Dalvin cuts it left Dalvin Cook one man to beat stiff arm oh he's brought down he's brought down at the one but Dalvin Cook on his way to 173 yards slow to get up he's putting the team on his back here this evening and Dalvin Cook with the longest run of the day for Minnesota we're not going to show you the ball carrier speed yes we will 20 miles an hour next gen stats brought to you by AWS so now Minnesota down at the one now and if you're Viking you can, oh man they're coming out in the same look so Minnesota same formation six seconds left on the play clock give us to Dalvin Dalvin will walk in calls his team over they're going to celebrate what's it going to be what, what are they doing? Uh, yeah, there it is. The teapot serenade and Dalvin Cook scores another touchdown. Just goes right in between Eric McCoy <laughs> and that defender. And Mike Tomlin, he's asking his defense, what the heck, man? So Minnesota will grab a four-point lead pending Joey Sly's extra point. The snap, the spot, the kick. It is all good. Angling towards that right upright. Eight plays, 80-yard drives, and we've talked about it last week, these extended drives for Minnesota here later on in the season when they matter. Very, very welcoming as uh, Joey Sly will kick it away. But... I mean, I'd love to see a game where we where we can put in Malik Willis. I'd love to see a blowout victory. We just haven't had that opportunity. Still gets the catch. So Pickett under center. Throws over Josh Metellus. He had it. Fumble picked up Josh Metellus. It doesn't matter that you didn't pick it. And Josh Metellus will pick up the fumble. I do believe caused by Harrison Smith and Fryer Moose. So right there, Metellus, Metellus, watch it floats. And it is Lewis Seen causing the fumble, and it gets 
scooped up by Metellus. So, my goodness. Minnesota. Finally, they've been going for that hit all night. Good to see they finally get it. Richardson gives it to Cook. Cook, big run right side, forces his way past the line to gain. And my goodness, Dalvin again. He's, ooh, he's slowly getting up more and more from these plays. My sentiments exactly, Harrison. My sentiments exactly. So pick it from the lone setback. Throws. Murphy bunting over committed Claypool touchdown. They'll grab the lead, and he meds up like he's in Fortnite. And Minnesota. Murphy bunting. Tries to... Uh, and the turnover goes all for not, as it is short drive. It's making it a three-point game again. Kick is away. It's good. 41-38. If you're Minnesota, you would like to think. <laughs> so Dalvin still in the proverbial zone. Richardson from the gun against the snap. Throws it. And it's picked again. I mean, he's he's, he's just shaking. Dal uh, not Dalvin, but Richardson is just shaking. Sixth interception going for Tyler Johnson, who gets in the face of Mika Fitzpatrick, who now has his second pick. And he's just shaking. We got to pull him out of the game. We have to pull him out of the game. There, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts. He's shaking. And another big shot. Fumble! Picked up Eric Kendricks. And Eric Kendricks will slip a tackle, giving the ball back to Minnesota's offense. <laughs> And we get a let's go in the fan line by Falcons owner. Oh, no. He's going to head out. Oh, boy. So, Skull Chance rain down another fumble caused by this defense. I mean, I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, aren't I? At the end of the day, Randy Replay is a consummate professional. He does let his emotions get the best of him at, at times. I mean, uh, I just, I'm trying to protect the rookie from throwing 63 interception. Everybody wants to see this kid succeed, and I do believe he will have a successful run as Dalvin Cook sheds two tackles on his way to the 44. I do believe he's going to have a great career here in Minnesota, and we just got to, I mean, if he wins us the Super Bowl, we don't care about the stats, right? <laughs> but here, but it's highly ill-advised, so... Joey Sly, 33-yarder to tie this thing up. All at 41. Joey Sly's kick is away. It's good. Oh, boy. So you wanted the touchdown. Let's get a first down. Rock him, sock him, fight, fight, fight. We did not, and Joey Sly has to get a kick. So 41-41, Minnesota Vikings defense causing turnovers on the last two possessions for the Steelers. They play better as the game goes on, and... We'll see if we can do it again here is another touchback. So for Minnesota, you just got to play a tight defense. That's all you got to do. Another nail biter. Yes, indeed. I don't like it. We just said it earlier. We want to blow out win. Play <gasps> punched out. Harrison, get the ball. They don't. Kenny Pickett will fall on it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Harrison Smith. Punching the ball out. Kenny Pickett falls on it, and Minnesota will drop DJ Wanham again. Pickett flushed. Pickett throws. Incomplete. No flags. Two minute warning hits. They got to go for a field goal opportunity. Field goal opportunity. A big one. 51 yarder. Snap, spot, kick. He's good. Oh, no. So 44-41. Ooh, Harrison Smith. You got to watch it there. So it's very, very quiet in here. 155 left to go. Minnesota all timeouts. Richardson leading his team on multiple drives like this. I mean, you want Wong Wu to just walk it off, but my goodness. Oh, boy. So Dalvin Cook will come back out. Get some opportunities. I hope. Let's see what they want to do. First and 10. 
from the 17. F momentum fully on the side of the Steelers here. Richardson gets the snap. Flushes. Throws it away. Maybe looking for that late hit call. Not going to get it. We will do it again. Second and 10. <clears throat> so very, very interesting play call there. Richardson under center again here. Gets the snap. It's a late break. Colin Johnson, late break off. He'll get the first down. We'll go no huddle. So Minnesota, if you want to play for OT, you just need enough for Joey Sly. Throws for Thielen. Batted away. Oh, my gosh. Maybe that thing was intended for Sam Laporte underneath. I mean, Joey Sly can hit from 62. That's his longest. Both of his career and on the season. Richardson gets the snap. Throws. Middle. Tyler on the run. Down near the 50th of 48. Minnesota will take their first time out. So what a play call. Whew. Had to come. Had to like contort his body did. Uh, Tyler Johnson. He's um, it's kind of a weird play. So look at Steelers. They're in their pre-event defense. Kind of daring Minnesota to play for OT. Here's Richardson. He'll just get out of bounds. And <clears throat> Gain of three. So they're just they're just playing a prevent. Daring Minnesota to go for that field goal. It's also very dangerous because you leave a lot open across the middle. They're stealing. They'll go no huddle. So that is very dangerous, especially with these wide receivers. You saw it there. So 48 seconds left. Richardson leaves the safety of the pocket. He will run it. Slides down. He got hit. No flags. They'll take a timeout. They want to look at Richardson. No flag. So Richardson gets hit on the way down to the ground again. 41 seconds now. <clears throat> so here we go. Richardson from the gun. Talking to the offensive line. Gets the snap. Throws left. Sam Laporta tries to juke. He won't. They're going to go no huddle. It's the snap. Flushed. Throws. Cut. Touchdown. Tyler Johnson. The guy's name who has been kept out of Randy Replay's mouth gets another one with 15 seconds left to go. Oh, my goodness. Putting it on the pylon. Tyler will do the rest. Jeez. Uh oh. Was he out? Uh oh. Uh oh. They're going to review it. I, uh oh. <laughs> he might have been out. Oh, man. So call on the field is touchdown. Uh, it looks. One. Two. It looks like a touchdown to Randy. It looked like one in in uh, game time or game game speed. We'll get the call here. Tyler believes he had it. Of course he does, and we'll get the call here from the ref. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. Ruling on the field stands. It's a touchdown. The crowd goes absolutely bonkers. And this to make it 48-44. Steelers would need a touchdown to win the game. 15 ticks left on the clock. And another extended drive. Nine plays, 84 yards. Offense will come off being congratulated by Kevin O'Connell. So Minnesota has given up a lot of yardage here tonight. A couple big plays to these wide receivers. Be a good start. Bring it back out to the 25. So here we go. For the Vikings. They face the Steelers team who needs to go down the length of the field. Three timeouts, 15 seconds. Here we go. Pick it. Throws a 
<laughs> Most oh, able to get out of bounds. Cam uh, able to get out of bounds, rather. Cam Danzler. What a play by Pickett. Nine seconds left. Daniil Hunter getting double. Pickett. All the time in the world. Throws it down the field. This could be the game. The clock strikes zero. It is batted away. That's the end of the game. Minnesota wins in another nail biter. 48-44. And for the moment, they have number one seed.